Chloe and Henry, you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You're both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks, all those sentences that began with when we're married and continued with I will, and you will, and we will. Those late night talks that included someday, and somehow, and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. Will you remember this moment? Will you be able to feel the tropical breeze? Remember the sweet smell of salt in the air? And will you feel the leap in your heart as you think back to this moment? In life, when things are good and not so good, promise me you'll always return to this moment together and everything will be fine. So we first met at a mutual friend's uh, birthday party. So we randomly sat next, next to each other um, at a bar and started talking to each other and realized that we had a lot in common. So then we kept on talking to each other for the rest of two hours just by ourselves while um, other people sort of faded into the background. And at that time, I was two years out of university. She was actually still in university uh, gearing up for her final exams. You know, this is great and all, but I really have to focus on my exams and um, and graduate before I, we go on the second date. So we waited for a little bit. I graduated college and then we went on a second date and the rest is history. I had this very um, grandiose plan in mind. I thought to myself, you know, it has to be just perfect. I sort of came to this conclusion in a matter of a few days. Uh, and we were actually uh, embarking for a little bit of a long holiday to Cambodia and Taiwan in November 2017. There's no way he's going to propose in Cambodia. There's no way. We get into the car with the tour guide, and the tour guide's driving the car to the just the famous uh, Sunrise location. And he, he starts off the, the morning with, you know, it's a great day for a proposal. <laughs> Uh, and I was trying to find the best location to plant my knee uh, to propose. And I was so surprised. I was like, oh no, I was just complaining about you and now you're proposing to me. Um, she blacked out because she was so overwhelmed with emotion. Um, and she was very happy. And we ended up spending the rest of our holiday uh, you know, in Cambodia as well, as well as Taiwan celebrating. So that was the proposal. I was completely surprised even though we had gone ring shopping together. Um, I think it was maybe the best proposal I could have ever dreamed of. <laughs> of worse weather during any of our travels, and yet we somehow fell in love with the city and our experience here. Holed up in the hotel due to torrential rains, I enjoyed every minute spent with you, realizing for the first time that it didn't matter where we were or what we did, being by your side was enough and then so. During our travels and everyday life, I have learned so much about you and can't wait to continue to learn more. Henry, it feels so surreal to be back at my most favorite place in the world with my most favorite person in the world. In the last six years, we've traveled to more than 20 countries together, but no matter how far away from home we are, no place ever felt too foreign because I was there with you. Uh, you know, travel has always been an important part of our lives. And, uh, you know, it's incredibly heartwarming to also think that, you know, not only our family, but our friends, are traveling all this way for us.
itself isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easily. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, and fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, it's easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. It's the feeling of companionship. It's the idea that from start to end of your day, every single moment that you experience, good or bad, you want to share with that someone. Um, I think it's the fact that you're able to sacrifice and you're able to always think about the other person first. I think love is, it's a feeling that grows over time. It, it's, a, it's a feeling that you nurture over time and that you maintain every day. Um, and for Chloe, it's, you know, we're coming up on six years now. And I, as cliche as it sounds, I, I love her more by the day. Love is growing old together. It's more about companionship and being together um, for a long time and growing old together. Um, and I think that's what love is. husband today or tomorrow, but I will work every day to be the best that I can be for you. I love you, Chloe, forever and always. Thank you for showing me the world and loving me unconditionally. I promise to hold your hand through the good times and bad to learn and grow with you, and to build a family with you. Let's take this next step, next step in our adventure together. Above all, love is about comfortability. It's the idea that you can be with that person uh, for the rest of your life, and to look forward to celebrating all of life's you know, best moments together. He loves her because she's the only one in the world that makes Henry feel that way. And that's why he knows she's the one. At the end of a long day, she looks forward to coming home to Henry as he's always able to make Chloe laugh and find a way to distress her day. For Chloe, Henry is home. <laughs>